everyone, this is Kieran and welcome back to this week's Napoleon Total War 2 Let's Play. We're carrying off where we left off. We had just retaken Brussels and are looking now to advance into other areas. Uh, I don't know if I can move this unit yet. I would like to just finish off what we have around here. Um, let's just take a quick overview look. You may notice some changes in the graphics in this episode because I managed to find how, how you can... Uh, edit the preferences and script so you can uh, improve your graphics which I'm really excited about it should improve this um, this let's play significantly so uh, we're at muddle about with medium graphics now we should be able to get something good uh, now I've got to obviously be careful I don't want to leave myself too short with the bat fins. Um so I have quite a big militia army here I don't really want that, I want to sort of get rid of it and have a proper army itself come in, but uh, we could probably build another one very soon. But I'm trying to generate, get my income up now and then start to build up another invasion force. So we've got this one at Marseille, I'm going to keep them here with Wellington for a short while. Uh, may increase the barracks and then look to swing round with this army and take Spain. Uh, or push further into France, I don't know just yet, I haven't decided. This army I'd like to push up and take regions in uh, like Reims and Amsterdam, I do want to take Amsterdam but I want to make sure it's replenished enough to do so. So what I may do actually is recruit a few more lines of light infantry because it's took a it's light infantry has took a little bit of damage sorry i'm looking at the wrong army so john moore's army here has taken some significant damage to its light companies so i do want to i'm gonna it's probably gonna yeah those guys i'm gonna put into there and i'm gonna recruit another couple of units of light light companies um, what else do they need? They could certainly do with some more artillery. I think I have some more artillery somewhere. I built some, I'm pretty sure. They definitely need some more artillery, so maybe another unit of artillery as well. Uh, so it's going to take a couple of... I want to replenish them anyway, so it's going to take a couple of turns. I may just like pick at these little units here. Um, but I want obviously definitely to get some more artillery. We've got nine pounder, so we need some something else in terms of like a, a six pounder and something else. Definitely, I'm gonna try and I'll defeat this fleet here. France keep asking me to peace out. I'll accept it for now again, but they're probably gonna get dragged into the war again by Spain. <laughs> it's, it's weird. It just keeps happening. Spain and Batavians are still at war with me, so they keep keep juggling like that, it's, it's mightily weird. I do hope the Catalonians will go and advance and take other states like the Bordeaux. It, it just means then I can push on and take a few states. They're coming around, yeah, so I'll swing back with my army. Those shouldn't, the Batvians shouldn't take it. It's a John Moore's army, why can't he move? Damn. I'll quite happily give them. I'm probably just hopefully gonna have to hold here. <coughs> Don't think we'll have an army enough itself to defeat them, but. Oh, so we've got. Six pounder here. Oh yeah, that's why I got recruited them, but they they've all merged into this army. Did recruit him some more six pounders. I did forget about that. Uh, obviously, I can't get them up to him through this way. Uh, so I'll probably just actually leave these as defensive units for now. Because even if I march them, I don't think I'll reach France, go through France in time of that 
military access. Let's see if we can just sort of peace out with the Batbians just for now. No, they don't want it. I just want to sort of switch focuses for a short while and not have to worry about the Batvians, but needs be if we lose this town then we'll just come swing back in and take it again. Uh, let's go have a look at what we can do in terms of bolstering our economy now at home. We've built a lot of a lot of these have been built up so that's fine. We need public schooling to advance them to the next level. Uh, all our farms are pretty much done. Is the one in Do Dublin? That isn't done yet but we're 100 off so we'll hold out on that for the next turn. Oh yes, there was a French Navy I wanted to sort of... Oh no, we're not at war with them anymore. We're at peace with them, so we'll keep peace for a short while, because I do want to just sort of... I don't know, go make sure I can get around and do other things. I don't want to just be... A successful mission, good lad. Uh, just gives us an idea of what they've got here. It's quite a light army to say. It's more the capital. Shagares, Shermans, Skirmishers. We'll probably skip this next turn. There's not a lot we can majorly do. Uh, let's see what we can do construction wise. We can take a barracks up, so we'll take the barracks up. And then we will eventually also take up the Ordnance Factory too. Hopefully that'll allow us to build up some bigger guns. I'm half expecting the Batvians to. They'll, knowing that Sir John Mon's army is on its way, I'm sure they'll just go straight for an attack. We have some units being built, at, some light units, so I'm going to get some more light companies in for him. And I may just make sure, like they've got, looks like they've got a force built, uh, building up. I'll accept that for now. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this navy and block that port off because I don't want them to get out. I thought they'd besiege Khan but we should get Sir John Moore back up in time. So I'm going to bring this navy out and I'm going to blockade this port. I'm not silly enough to allow them to build a, a fleet to get out. <coughs> I'd rather limit them a, a lot. So he's going to be just outside the field of battle. Um, but we'll fight this. Obviously we're going to have to hold off until Sir John Moore gets here. We'll have a fight and let's just take a look at some of these beautiful, um, beautiful graphics now. I've been trying to do one thing I want to do eventually is go back and do some of the battles and do some of the historical battles starting with Lodi and... Others, but I've been playing around with it and I, I just get caught up a little too much in the buildings at minute So I'm gonna look at ways I can improve my play on that So they got with an attacker obviously so oh, Look at that nice winter scene Far better graphics far better textures coming in you got to look at the units They're Not it's not full high scale Um but you can just see certain improvements to what I was on last week anyway. Um, so yeah, let's get this started. We've got a building down here. Small farm building. I'm just going to basically move my troops up. Uh, so John Moore's coming in. He's got obviously quite a distance. But he's coming in behind which is nice. Um, so once his army gets here then we'll do something about But I may just bring my militia units up just to slightly engage, just to hold them, keep them busy so they don't realise Sir John Moore's coming in. Right now it is just Sir John Moore. 
I don't want to rush him in and then not have any other units. Where are all his other units? The general's dead. God, he, he literally like got shot once then. And died. That's bizarre. Especially seeing as he's so far up, that's just weird. Obviously, Sir John's Moore's army and more. Well, the general's dead anyway, so it doesn't, doesn't really matter on that front. We can't really attack their artillery because, well, they've got. Come on, I just want these units out of the way, really. Come on, push up. Come on, guys. John Moore's here, obviously, but we need some of his other stacks to. Uh, so what I might just do is I'm just going to charge this line with uh, the citizens. Actually, charge each line with the citizens, and I may just do the same with the militia, to be honest. And if we lose the units, it doesn't really matter because that's not the point with these. Maybe we might get some rounds off. And then hopefully, once these have been defeated, then our other units, will, our actual units will come in. So it doesn't really t matter too much on those fronts. Come on, get some shot volleys off at them. These are obviously line foot, so they're going to kick our ass really in terms of what they do but just run just go through them so I don't really have anything I can majorly do so I'm just going to charge these units in they'll get beat but that's the whole point so John Moore's army can push forward then. If they just do damage, that's intentionally what they're supposed to be doing. Most of them are just fleeing already, look. On charging. Hope we can just mob them in some respects. The melee, the melee mass. So hopefully, hopefully now, Sir so John Moore's unit should come in. If not, I'm gonna have to pull out and then fight this battle again. Um, I thought all the units had come in together. I'm charging in again. This <coughs> is bizarre. Is it because I've not got the battle order? Uh, uh, why can't? Why hasn't Sir John Moore's army come in? Let's pull all these units out. Let's just withdraw these. Shouldn't Sir John Moore's units come in? This is so bizarre.
I don't get why my additional forces haven't come. That's so frustrating. Oh, now they're coming. So that's basically what I wanted to do. Is once these start to come, obviously my proper units going to come. But hopefully I'll get be able to get them in at some point. Because right now all we are is just a weak line. The men of fatigue, sir, and must rest I don't care what those men are. We can uh, regroup and just they're out majorly out of shape, gonna be out of tired really tired, so come on, where's the rest of these units? So more cavalry. It's not those that I need, yeah. I don't think I'm gonna this is gonna go down well. I'm sorry, because I'm just having to speed this up, obviously, to get in a position where we've got some men. I'm more worried that they're going to be able to swoop round and attack before I can get reset. So let's sort of slow it down a little bit. Because once I've got my line units in, I'm, I'm not worried at all. I think we'll just kick their butt, but... I don't mind losing the militia units. Just hope time wise we'll be okay. So obviously now our actual units are coming in. So now the real battle can begin. Come on, let's see if we can get some shots down, kill their general. Bring our cavalry over here. Let's see if we can snipe their general like they seem to do against us. That was just a crazy random shot. <coughs> so these should be pretty... very tired, so that's going to be working our favour. And you will not be exactly 100% fresh. Now, these may as well come out. Let's push these cannon up. Come on. I just hope we have enough time. There's like 15 minutes before this battle gone nearly. You know, on the clock. Obviously we sped it up quite a lot. Come on, untoggle. Our lines here now, so I'm more confident now. Obviously, I've got these actual troops coming in. <coughs> May try and get this little farmhouse with uh, the Highlanders just hold. These are like gonna be uber tired now, so by the time they reshape and by well, by the time we get to them as well, it's gonna be pushing. But we'll not directly engage. Yeah, you guys go, go capture that house. I want that just as a sort of something to ping, ping them with. I don't know. They've got artillery though, so I don't want to be in there too much. There's still one unit of these guys just sort of milling around. Don't know what they're doing. Just want them off the field, come on. They're holding back other regiments. So John Moore, pull him up. So I'm going to speed it up a little bit more because obviously it's going to take some time to get set. 
Uh, so I do apologise, obviously, this battle is going to probably cover most of the episode, and that's more due to silliness, really. I don't know why. It did. I think it's the old settings. Like, oh, look, they're going to come. They're going to react to that building being taken. That's fine. Uh, I've got to watch out its damage, especially as I'm pushing up. It gets damaged too much. I don't want to lose that unit. It's taking a lot of damage, so I'm going to pull them out. I don't want to take the damage just for... Come on, you guys just go kill those three. The general gets Sir John Moore doing something for once. I know technically he should already be dead, I think, at this point. God, they're stubborn. Those guys were very stubborn. Who's fatigued? Nobody really should be fatigued in this this force. No. Cannons that are seemingly withdrew. And I don't know why I withdrew them. Not that they're gonna really make an impact on this one. Come on, I just want this engagement sort of done with. I wanna run out time all right get you guys into skirmish mode into light infantry mode we've got a unit of cavalry here so I've got to watch those may form a square <coughs> As soon as the light foot are in, in range, I just want them shooting. And then create a small line here. I'll put this unit here. Get the islanders just hurt. So they are, they're going to attack. They've reacted, that's what I wanted. Pull these buyers back, I don't want my skirmishers out. Come on, just get some shots off of these. My lion infantry is quite important to me. Gotta watch out what's coming that side. Don't want to get surrounded, but obviously, yep, that's those off the field. Let's push these back up. Just get these units back out of square and into the trees. I've got more lines up here, more artillery. Uh, which I'll, I'll use these flanking units here. want the light infantry to just pepper now. I may just try and just kill their general really. We have the hill, all these British dead from the militia. Come on. Let's invite them on. Long lines, that's the best thing about the British. If you have long lines, it's what they fought in, it's what made them effective. <coughs> Come 
online infantry. Time to push these infantry units forward. Get them in the foray doing their job. I leave the line companies. Cause obviously they're taking the shots from both. Come on, we got another unit here. We got this unit here. Got Sidramon Moral. We have additional units here, so we have a rear guard. And pull the light company just behind. And get them out of shooting at the moment. Oh, where's this unit going? Oh man, when the computer just decides to just mess you up, it does. Come on. This is two units now, it's sort of lined up in ways I haven't wanted it to, why is it doing this? So I've just lost a unit then, just no reason. Come on. Again, what the... Oh, this is getting frustrating because we're just losing units for no reason here. And this... What? It's not selecting the units I want to select. And then when I am selecting, it's lining up the other units. So... means I'll win this battle but I'm gonna take far more casualties and come on far more casualties than I want to I'm really gonna have to pull my cavalry in quicker this is stupid man so frustrating. Obviously we have these units in reserve so I'm not too worried that we're not going to be okay but I'm just going to take on far more damage than I want. Is this unit actually doing anything? No. I'm just going to get them firing on them. Gonna lose some cavalry units here, but pull them out. Don't want them in there now. They form square, so I want those out. Oh, this unit as well is pulled out. Oh my word, man. Some very weird stuff happening, but we're starting to push now. We're starting to obviously win the field. They're pulling a lot of troops out. Right, what I'm just going to do is try and just pick off units where I can. Which one's that one? I imagine it'll be my light. No? No, no, I, what the? Oh, it's this unit. So, all I'm going to do is get you guys to just charge, basically. 
So we lost more, far more than what I wanted to there. So I apologise about that. I was just stupidness going. Hello, square. I don't want you guys. Get out, get out. Push up. I'm uh, just going to charge you into charge. Go get them. They've still got some units still in the foray, but obviously I think they're just marching out. But if we can get a kill box on some of these, I'd rather do that. Uh, speed it up again. Ah, oh, now they've pulled out again. Into a wedge. They tried to farm square again. It's crazy. How could they farm square like that and then there? Oh, let's just try and smash these into it. Just to give our infantry some support. This has been probably one of the worst battles I've ever had on this game. It's so, so crazy. I'm just going to end battle because that was just ridiculous. I made so many errors in that. That is how not to fight a battle on Napoleon Total War. I lost another general though, unfortunately, which is frustrating. I'm going to move these into that unit. Uh, sort of trying to... Any that are sort of broken down now, I'm just going to give to the units. So obviously that will increase our income. <coughs> so, what do we need now? We need modern rifles in, in our research to get the rifle regiment. We can't get the rifle regiment until... We obviously build the next building, the drill school, so we're going to go for the drill school. Basically let these these replenish like we initially intended to. I have to build another ship I believe as well. Which I do need anyway, I do need another, another ship, so I'm not, oh that's too long, that's... Just a sloop, just to get them across, and then I'll add more to it eventually. Oh, we need to build our infrastructure up as well, definitely. So I'm going to build another light and another another line and another light as well while we're waiting for that sloop. In fact, why am I doing it all there? Look, you know, you've got this here. For those kind of units, it's probably better just to build here, you numpty. That's me being rather silly again, but you know. I do want to build up now and, and finish finish the Batvians up. <coughs> they want to give... Oh, I'll take the Blitz School in, to be honest, just to join that war. They're giving me a lot of technologies at the minute, so... That's got its advantages, obviously it allows us to advance up the technology tree quicker. Uh, we haven't really made any sort of progression in this episode, which is a bit frustrating. It's been sort of a backward step. And that's down to largely that battle just went haywire. These Batvians look... Oh, they're just cheeky. Look at them. I so just want to finish them off now and, and just be done with them. And then so I can start fo focusing attentions to... Look, there's obviously the Spanish building up again now. So I've got to watch these. Just gonna auto resolve this. Cheek of them. 
uh, keep an eye on me just to watch these Spanish here. They may come after Brussels. It's Brussels. Obviously, the Batvians are not going to come for Brussels because of their penalties and diplomatic relations. Um, what can we do recruitment wise? We can obviously get take all our courts of justice up now. <coughs> Public schooling. Um, definitely want another drill school. What will that audience factory allow me to recruit? Six however, six pounder, and a six pounder horse. What are the furniture valves? Are they a former militia? I think they're just militia, aren't they? Yeah. Um, yeah. Infrastructure wise, that's what I want. I definitely want a road. Uh, that should help us out massively. London's bringing a lot of income in. Can not really. How's Marseille doing down here? Marseille's doing okay. Hopefully, we'll uh, get that thing come up soon too. I may take the down here so we can build the cannons up here. Ah, I need to build another fleet of some sort just so I can swing round and go take Spain and then I can <coughs> have a couple of small armies go take Spain out a lot to do let's end this turn here again see how it plays out I think are we still at peace with France I think we're at peace with France for now I'm gonna check because obviously if these are being cheeky I wanna kill them off My obviously aim, my region aim is not anywhere where we need to be at the minute, but we're only in December. It looks like the Brit Britain is building up a force. I love how the small nations just pack massive militaries. It's crazy. Batvians are being cheeky again. Now they're going to attack. Now they got defeated. We were at an alliance with France. We had an alliance with France, did we? I didn't think we had an alliance with them. The Batvians have been pushed back by Brussels. Good lads, um, I do want to probably take them out as soon as really. But I'm going to hold firm just for a short period until I can naval recruitment. One more to that sloop. And we can get this six pounder over as well. So we have some more light units here, another 9 pounder, cool, another 6 pounder, see what the f these Spanish try and do as well, uh, I'm going to recruit, I'm going to take the public, uh, try and get our tax up and again raise more income. Per turn, that'll be what it will be for the next few is building more courts of justice, raise the tax income, and then try and build up another army. But we're going to end this here. We're in January of 1807. We do need to make more progression. So I don't know whether we're going to take Rems next. So I may go and take Rems as long as this Spanish army doesn't decide to do anything. And, and we'll see what the the French are doing because it looks like they're trying to mount something up so we'll have to be careful I'm fairly confident we can beat them back but you know we'll see anyway thank you for watching uh, we'll see you again next week